Hello everybody. Good evening. We are back with another live session at Speaker Circle. I'm super duper happy and excited to welcome you all for this wonderful session that we are going to conduct today. If you are watching us right now, you can type your name in the chat box. I would surely like to welcome you suitably and uh, you can share the link of this video with your friends and family members if you feel that they would be interested into something like this. because today is going to be a different session altogether yes this time we are planning and we are having a panel discussion so what is a panel discussion panel discussion is basically done on a specific topic number 1 number 2 we would be inviting panel members so among speaker circle we have got three members today who are going to talk on different aspects of a same topic so there will be three panel members sharing their thoughts and ideas on the same topic and that's where we would be able to have a organized way if discussing things if you are there type your name out there hi how are you thank you so much for joining in and this way when we do a panel discussion we are able to share our thoughts get a different perspective from others and at the same time learn something new and that's the objective here today Well let me introduce myself I am Nancy Shah I am a trainer public speaker anchor voice actor and founder of Speaker Circle we started this initiative to help people develop their public speaking skills we conduct our interventions online and now gradually offline we already have a chapter in Ahmedabad for almost a year now and yes this uh, 13th June we are going to complete 2 years of our establishment Yes, Speaker Circle is going to celebrate its second anniversary very soon. And with this, uh, yes, there are a lot of new things coming up, and we are trying and exploring ourselves in different ways. And to improve upon ourselves is always the way to go. Basically, it's a platform to develop communication and public speaking skills. The meetings that we hold are done majorly online via Zoom. You can also join our Zoom meetings for free. and for that you just need to fill up a google form you'll find the link of the form in the description and apart from that you can get in touch with us on any of our social media handles just search hashtag speaker circle and you'll be able to find things there at the same time uh, if you want to join the sessions live let me tell you that we go live on this youtube channel every thursday where we do storytelling movie review book review poetry and lot of other activities and through these activities we give opportunity to our members to share their thoughts and ideas in different ways and forms of public speaking yes that's true well apart from that there are a lot of other activities like every monday there is something every wednesday there is something every friday there is something and we are flooding up them with lot of tasks but yes everything revolves around public speaking with this let's uh, think about today's session oh i did not get any comments by now i can see a lot of people watching us are you here are you watching us right now type your name in the chat box if you are watching us right now and will surely like to welcome you here suitably so anybody out there you can type your name by the way do you know the topic of today's panel discussion you can just uh, guess it and type it there in the chat as well and will surely like to welcome you suitably over here any commenters okay if you are not able to comment then there are high chances that you have not subscribed our youtube channel yet because it is enabled only for the subscribers so better you subscribe our youtube channel so that you are able to share things in the comment section because throughout the live session uh, we are going to check the comment section and we would be able to take your questions or your view point through that so i'll give you a few seconds just subscribe to this, this youtube channel and share your thoughts in the comment section with this yes we are waiting for few more people to join in and we'll quickly begin with today's session but before we go ahead i want to share with you about what we are going to do today so today is going to be a panel discussion as i said what is the topic of this panel discussion the topic is technology and its impact we all know that technology has revolved our life around like it's all around our lives at the same time it has changed a lot of things the way we think the way we behave the way we use products and services the way we consume the way we sell the way we work the way we do anything in life everything has a technology involved into it i think we are 
flooded up with technological tools and gadgets and aspects and apps and services and lot more and it has changed our life in both ways positive and little bit of side effects as well but then we need to review it how it has impacted our lives so today we are going to have three speakers who are going to share the thoughts around the same we are going to have them or somebody who is going to talk about technology and its impact in a personal life somebody is going to talk about technology as a career option and there is one person who is also going to talk about how technology has changed the working professional behavior and everything that they do as a charter accountant so these are the three different perspectives that we are going to have let me invite our first speaker for the day our first speaker of the day is somebody who is uh, currently living in ahmedabad and she is somebody who has done her masters uh, in uh, hr and she is currently working as a pre primary curriculum designer she is somebody who is a voracious reader and also loves to speak let us put our hands together for our first speaker of the day that is aarti r hi aarti how are you hello i'm good how are you i'm fine so welcome back to another live session at speaker circle it's been a long Thank time you. and we are missing you and finally you are here so aarti uh why you want to be part of this panel discussion and why you selected to talk about the technology and its impact in personal life uh i think uh why i chose it with its uh, technology has helped me take major decisions in my life so a lot of life changing moments have happened only with the help of technology so i thought i would be able to share with all of you oh that's great wonderful so what i'll do this uh, i'll i'll uh, give you the stage share your thoughts Aarti is specifically going to talk about how technology has impacted people and all of us in our personal life. So all the best and over to you. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining and uh, letting your time out to listen to us. Uh, technology and its impact on personal life. As we know, technology is not just defined uh, by WhatsApp and Instagram, but also inclusive of devices that we think. Uh, which makes our life easy uh but how is a debate that does it drive or control our day to day life personal life is not just limited to the people that we are surrounded by but also you as the person that you are within so an adapted quote quotes that so it's not that we use the technology we live technology today we wake up next to our phones we finish our nature calls using our phone sometimes we listen to a song or a part podcast when we drive when we have our meal like i watch friends when i have my meal while we drive uh, to office or college we listen to audio uh, audible files uh, so it is a friend that turn comfort for us from our day to night we sleep next to it so if you ask me where is technology it's everywhere it has impact it's made an impact on our everyday life it's also so cool uh in a very smart way that technology will direct you what you must watch what you must read and what you must also buy two two types of marketing happens one, one uh you might have searched on google about it and that might pop up as an advertisement sometimes when you just randomly scrolling on instagram or facebook there is a sponsored ad which might be related to something so you might have not even thought about that product but because it pops up and then you swipe and then you go and click on it and then you decide oh such something exists so your it creates an artificial curiosity in you oh what is it acha ye kya acha aisa bhi hai so this adds to your shopping list and it's also impacts your monthly budget so this decides your way of purchasing your way of buying the other part is that they say a vivid reader is always a reader a person who is used to reading a book for the uh, essence of that touch and feel will continue to read the book however technology gives us an option now it's not rigid it there is an option for you that if not a book desk kindle if not for an fast track watch this smart watch today if not for a car today we have an automatic car we have electric vehicles today 
and we also have a friend to replace like Alexa or Hey Google or Siri. You can also choose the gender of your friend. I mean, just the voice. Google is just there for us to solve all our problems. At least that is what we think, that it solves all our problems. We think that this super intelligent artificial tool, uh, which is invisible, has all the answers. However, these answers that you see are written by somebody. It's a blog or a post written some, by someone or some influential person. If we give some time to ourselves, if we have those questions that we introspect with ourselves, we can influence our answers. We can we can choose to we can choose our influences or a role model that might be just living next door. So our thought process is sometimes or most of the time these days is driven or it is um, uh, or it's is driven through somebody else's thought. So are we actually missing out to think? Or are we missing out how to think and what to think? The other impact that it makes is that um, we kind of try to relate a real life scenario with technology. Let's say there's a there's a um, uh, and again an influencer with a 10k followers. I'm not sure how in reality or in a personal life when you go down how many real 10,000 followers you would have. The basic example is, let's say you're, you're, you're on a conversation with somebody on WhatsApp. Let's be it's your colleague or your friend or anybody. And something, they get some work and they become busy. And they leave you on this blue tick. They leave you on read. Uh, what would be the first thing that you feel? Oh, he left me on read. Oh, she's ignoring me. Aray, but something must have happened. So it's a lot of misunderstanding that is created because of this. So we conveniently choose to... Uh, remove this last scene or remove this blue tick option and i think this is a major problem in certain relationship that has oh you were awake till 10 a.m oh you were what were you doing at two o'clock what were you doing at so and so time so this um, creates a drift between a relationship that can focus on something else better privacy in terms there are two things there is no privacy or rather people have chosen to keep their private life public as well. I say technology has overtaken us. Why? Because till now I've spoken about the other. Let's say for the children. Children, they seek for attention from parents. But let's say a working parent comes from an 8 to 10 hour of job, has been just slogging their day with people around, wants to have some me time. What we do for me time these days is we take our phones or we take any gadget for that and are just on our phones. Now, children, the study says that 65% of the children are fighting with uh, technology to gain their attention from parents. However, all said and done, the major impact of technology on personal life will be an example of my own. Uh, I am in a long distance relationship with my fiance and it all started only with a video call. So like I said, my life changing decision that happened six months ago was only with one simple video call. If not for technology for a person who's living uh, thousands of kilometers away, like living in, a, in the same continent, but in a different country, if my decision of marrying that person has happened only through a simple video call and the relationship of long distance grew through that uh, with the help of technology. Let's say we play online games together. Uh, we have online dates. We watch movies. We have our, our watch party where I think during COVID, it has made a lot of difference for all of us that we could watch movies with our friends online. We felt that if there's Malay, there is no physical uh, support. There is this virtual friendship of, uh, that still continues. So my virtual relationship, my virtual days were through movies. Uh, and we have a Spotify album. So Spotify has an album that you can, uh, that it has a system of a playlist, but you can have an album of your own, where you can uh, have songs to come. So uh, we could do that. And most of my wedding prep has happened only through the video calls with my mother who used to go for shopping. So. I think if not for technology or if not for Swiggy, uh, Genie or Dunzo, I don't know how many of my uh, accessories would have been ready. So if not for Shadi.com also, I don't know if I'll be able to marry today. So I think technology makes a great impact, 
uh, on our personal life. However, it's the choices that we make in allowing this technology to make an impact on our life. So we can choose our influences. We can choose what we want to see, read and buy. A person from next door can also be an influencer for us. Uh, it's the choices that we make. A book or an audible, uh, a book or a Kindle, it's up to us. So thus, um, technology is useful in many ways and makes a great impact for all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arti, for sharing your thoughts here with us. Yes, uh, I think uh, imagining our lives without technology is really impossible now. The way uh, we are connected with it, it's like we are addicted to it rather. Uh, and and we are so dependent on it, like without, okay, this live session we are doing right now is with the help of technology. And yes. of course, without that, I don't think we would be able to reach out to people this way. So platforms are really good. The sources are really good. The opportunity that it brings to you is really good. But then it up, it's up to you. You have to draw a line somewhere. You have to put a boundary somewhere and control yourself. Uh, uh, like how much you want to get into it and how much you want to stay apart. And when to engage and when not to engage is something that we need to choose. Because when there's a lot that goes around, it's difficult to stay focused. And that's what I think you also discussed, that after having a hectic work day, it's it's a family time but then at the same time also you're engaging yourself into some of the things which are not required and that happens but natural because you pick your phone so so many times it happens with me that i pick my phone for something and uh, there was a purpose in mind but when i pick the phone i saw something and then it another 10 minutes gone and i don't even realize that i'm spending this 10 minutes on something which was not at all required and after 10 minutes i suddenly get this quick okay my phone has been kyun liya tha and then i realize okay it was for this purpose and wo to baki reh gaya so uh, such th you don't want to distract yourself but that happens automatically it happens that way that yeah 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 so one notification uh, sound you hear and then uh -huh. and it's not only for the mobile it's for anywhere like you are reading something and some pop up comes on your computer or laptop or uh, you're driving somewhere and you uh, hear something around it, it, it like we are surrounded by technologies it is helpful for sure but it has lot many things that we need to keep an eye on yeah thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and it has totally impacted our personal lives for sure and we look forward to have you more in live sessions in the east thank, thank you thank you yeah thank you so much for joining so that was rtr here with us at speaker circle to talk about technology and its impact as part of uh, personal life now to talk further we are going to have somebody who is going to share his thoughts on how it has impacted our professional life especially as a chartered accountant because he is currently a student of chartered accountancy he's somebody who was born and brought up in ahmedabad he ha is currently doing his uh, ca course from uh, icai and also working uh, parallelly as an in, uh, intern and along with that he's somebody who loves data analysis he's a voracious reader and also into a lot of other things which are related to technology so probably a right person to talk with us today let us put our hands together for aditya kumar darak our member of speaker circle with data analysis mind thank you nancy for wonderful introduction hi hi how are you ekdam fast so Great. yeah can i wonder uh, a little one minute for uh, this personal uh, like impact yeah. of technology so, so i just think we can discuss it in the last stage when all of us are together or you want to share it right now no no then uh, i will uh, pick it at last okay sounds good so aditya yeah. is going to today specifically talk about how technology has impacted a professional life at the same time especially in a field of chartered accountancy you want me to share your screen yes yes thanks so keep it at half it's okay okay you want to keep it half something like this would work okay i'll go backstage and i'll give stage to you so in this session of technology and its impact i have taken the topic artificial intelligence and the future of accountancy profession 
So why it is critical for us? Some call it the fourth industrial revolution or industry 4.0. Others refer it as the digital industry revolution. Some even call it the artificial intelligence revolution. We understand it will disrupt our business operations. But for a chartered accountant, how will it affect us? And more importantly, our clients. Should we be aggressive, a little passive or resistive? Whenever I get stuck, I go to the basics. Let, text, uh, let us take the time machine and roam around the past. The first industrial revolution resulted from the perfection of steam engine. The steam engine enabled work to be performed by machines rather than humans, improving productivity tremendously. The second industrial revolution resulted from harnessing of oil and electricity to create mass production and the assembly line. It led to the invention of, of many technologies such as telephone, the light bulb, and the internal combustion engine. Again, productivity increased significantly. The change from ana uh, analog electronic and mechanical devices to more effective and efficient digital devices caused the third revolution. This era sees the invention of personal computer, the internet, and significant advances in information and communication technology. Again, productivity improvement. The fourth industrial revolution builds on the third and include advances in artificial intelligence, internet work, physical devices, that is internet of things, cyber physical system. They are mechanical con uh, mechanisms controlled or monitored by computer-based algorithms, nanotechnology, the manipulation of matter of an atomic, molecular and submolecular scale, and biotechnology the use of organisms and living systems to create product. It will even cause more productivity. It is easy to understand the impact of first, second and third industrial revolution because they are in our past. The fourth though, while that is still uh, occurring now, most of the change is still in future. It can be sometimes hard to separate science fiction fact from science fiction, but not current, uh, correctly distinguishing fiction from fact can lead you down the wrong path. Also, there is a risk associated with the strategy of completely ignoring the reality of transformations. Why do we need to prepare? The thing is, I was watching an IFSC webinar. IFSC is International uh, uh, Professional Federation so there was discussion going on on tech driven disruptions the fsc member presented quite fascinating data the future jobs of report 2018 by world economic forum indicates that by 2022 a shift in the division of labor between humans and machine will displace 75 million jobs a cluster of job profile is becoming increasingly redundant including accountants and auditors yeah Chartered accountants form that part of community. For one second, I was shocked, terribly shocked. It created too many questions in my head. Should I quit CA and join these techie programmers? How would I adapt in a world when I don't know even the ABCD of it? The member have put the cart before the horses by mentioning that the future of jobs report also indicates that 133 million jobs may emerge by 2022 pointing to a growing rather than shrinking world economy. Maybe you don't understand what he meant then. Let me give an example. The introduction of automobile led to a decline in horse related jobs, but entirely new industries emerged. They had a significantly positive impact on employment. Not only did the automobile industry grow fast, but it also increased the jo jobs in that sector. Motel and fast food industries also created additional jobs to serve those uh, motorists and truck drivers who drove those automobiles. What I mean is some accountants and auditors will likely lose their jobs if they don't tune their skills appropriately. But it is better to think all this not in terms of our assignments, but rather 
to consider the ta tasks we perform. As the profession looks for the future, we must anticipate areas of demand of our skills, behaviors, and competences we need to be successful in the future economic uh, ecosystem to change the expectations from what it means to be accountant. According, the, uh, according to the report, there is accelerating demand for data analysts uh, data analyst and scientist, data specialist, digital transformation specialist, and information technology services. Chartered accountants have those behaviors and competencies that overlap these future in demand roles. So, what is this uh, by artificial intelligence a disruptor? Why is AI one of the disruptive technologies and why it is impacting our profession? Why do we need to understand it today to be relevant today and tomorrow? Let us spend some time understanding it. Artificial intelligence is an advanced computer system that can stimulate human capabilities based on a predetermined set of rules. The words here important is human, capability, uh, human capabilities. Just as human learns uh, learn by their experience, AI machines learn from large data sets to identify patterns. I will demonstrate you uh, some of these real, uh, uh, real life challenges too. Some of the activities include learning, planning, and problem solving for them. So, how it is impacting our uh, accounting and auditing profession? First of all, it enables automatic analysis of an entire population of data to assess risk and identify patterns of exceptions and non-conformities. What happens in an audit, we need to identify those exceptions also. Auditors are freed from mundane tasks and can focus their time on deploying the skills, training, and judgment concerning the nature of time and extent of processes to evaluate critical controls and provide advisory services of value addition. For accounting purposes, AI-assisted boards review contracts to, uh, to check compliance with accounting standards tool to profile risk and much more. So what happens is key, an entire accounts department is wiped out now. And board can actually figure out by reading the uh, deeds and uh, agreements of those uh, suppliers and buyers and can automatically uh, go for those accounting uh, standards. So let me uh, share two, three examples and then I will demonstrate you. So Microsoft Excel ideas that is now an, uh, analyzed data use AI to provide intriguing and ad automated AI insights. Also Zoho's, uh, Zoho, an uh, online platform, which is Jia can bring an automated analysis of raw data and act as a secondary pair of uh, eyes. So two days before I was watching about Cam Studio 2022, I was really fascinated. So your audio, your recorded audio can be converted into transcripts. And what happens is they can identify your voice into those uh, text and you can also modify it. Just see where are the things going on in the practical world. And see, can I share my Excel? Is it please? Okay. Thank you, Nancy. So let us give, uh, uh, I have just a simple data here. So what I mean is just see the first name and last name. In the real life, we, uh, the data is uh, filled in different uh, uh, those, uh, those APIs. But what I need to figure out is I need to get the first name and the last name. So just see the a little technology used by the Excel. I am writing just the name here, first name, and just see when I press Kim West, just see, it has quickly identified the pattern in Excel. So this flash fill feature has came in Excel in 2013. And let me demonstrate you. Just see, all this data is true. But the thing is, flash fill is not working, uh, is like other uh, fills and it will not change. If suppose I change it here Aditya, then my formula is changing, but the uh, sales field with flash fill is not going to change. But let me, uh, uh, 
after some moment we will see uh, we will see how complicated uh, complicated the formula can become so let me get uh, employee id so what i have planned is ki my employee id should be like this one i am just copying just see i have just placed four zeros in front of the one and used to uh, first name and last name initial characters and just see in fingertips the it has identified quickly but the thing is you must have noted lastfill is not giving the proper result because yet it is not identifying the proper but what i need to do is again i need to change it and just see it had identified it is the uh, negative point of lastfill ki uh, you need to uh, understand it better ki lastfill doesn't give uh, give you result every time perfectly just see in uh, two three uh, times it can identify the pattern and just see everything is true let me show you the most complicated one here i wanted to remark wanted to add remark and this remark is so much complicated i need to send my boss this ki walter uh, miller will be working in the purchase department in kohima nagaland just simple thing and just see how quickly place fill can identify he invest in working in the sales department in uh, baglapur bihar and just see let me show you the formula it is too complicated formula this formula is uh, when you will be adding in a excel the, those formulas will be getting more and more complicated that's all this way Uh, there are more also this analysis data and uh, many things will be coming in uh, google sheets in form of uh, smart fill and explore button but what i wanted to say is ki these things are coming in now uh, and we can just see i don't want to know about excel just in few of these uh, things i was able to work out that's all i want to say my goodness i am awestruck with your preparations and what you explained uh, it was quite technical uh, and uh, very well planned presentation i would say that you have shared a lot of things about how technology can do things in a quick easy and like everything on your fingertips so earlier you used, used to take a lot of time but with artificial intelligence and other features that you have just explained very simple example of excel like yes i use it and i need it so i think um, the pc that i'm using right now uh, in which we have a older version of ms office so in that we do not have that feature and uh, in my laptop, ha and, and in laptop i have that so sometimes when i work here and i apply the formula it doesn't work and i realize oh god it is not going to work into this and then i need to mail my file to my other pc and get it done but it is useful very small thing let's say you have 10 names you will be able to do it but you have list of 1000 people and you want to change uh, well of separate the names from their surname the first name and the last name or you want to uh, pick up some particular number or some particular information out of the entire data that you have it is going to be crazy so it can just happen with one mouse click so thank you so much we have uh, okay hi uh, everybody thank you so much hi kasha uh, thank you for joining in we have uh, okay satya bama hi thank you so much for joining in so yes uh this is really important and yes it has changed a lot and the best thing that you said that we need to get along with this we need to learn this we need to keep myself updated with this to stay connected to be eligible to sustain ourselves into the future market because uh, the way the work is changing the way people are working is changing it's completely different ball game now so without keeping yourself updated with the technological trends it will become difficult to survive in the, the thing is nancy i don't want to boast but what i have sold now it is 1 billion times 1 billion times that is i am showing you you can get, uh, get example of grammarly i am using like anything so the, it is identifying the reaction of the opposite person just by reading i am some uh, sometimes fascinated and this is and grammarly said they are using machine learning 
you can uh, see artificial intelligence will be quite far better than anything and we are deploying only this uh plus with is just machine learning only identifying patterns and giving the result but when artificial intelligence will be there it will be like humans only it will have emotional intelligence and that will be quite intriguing and what i mean is ki some people might be feared ki yeah technology aane wali hai and we will be matlab bank hamari band bajne wali hai but the thing is ki if you will be using na so your lot of time will be matlab aapka kaafi time bach jayega so one more last on uh, something which is more important uh, so one last example i will give so there we is uh, one uh, that uh, we use google assistant right so what uh, that uh, satya nad uh, satya nay sorry i have just forgot uh, the name sundar pichai so he in one video showed ki how artificial intelligence will be calling on its own and will be talking to the my suppliers and anything in audit we need a customer uh, that uh, uh, external party verification ki the our balances are matching in both uh, both the books so this will help me kyunki main apne ek jagah bol dunga mobile ko aap in saron se baat kar lo and just see how much time will it be saved main i can go for other clients technology will impact but you need to understand ki main usko kahan pe apply kar raha hu that's all great thank you nand great thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and it was pleasure having you here quite detailed and quite well researched presentation Thank you, Aditya. So that was Aditya Kumar Darak here with us at Speaker Circle, who shared a lot about technology and how it is going to change the way we work. I hope you enjoyed. You can share your thoughts and ideas, and if you found it suitable, you can comment. In fact, uh, Arti and Aditya they both tried sharing a different perspective about technology and its impact. Arti talked about a personal life and Aditya talked about a professional life. And our third speaker for the day today is going to share a general perspective about technology and its impact. He is somebody who is from Bhavnagar. He has completed his post graduation that is uh, okay MSc IT from uh, MKBU Maharaja Krishna Kumar Singh Ji Bhavnagar University. He is currently doing a job in USC Google. He is currently working as a security analyst and he is doing it for almost a year now. and uh, he loves being piano let us put our hands together for our next speaker for the day and that is shubham shah hi shubham hi hello everyone how are you i am fine yeah so good to have you here i think uh, you are having a first panel discussion with yes, us yes. on youtube live right now so thank you so much for attempting that before you begin i have uh, okay a uh, comment here from uh, ravindra kulkarni says okay metaverse and machine learning is the future and we have to adopt it that's true thank you so much for sharing your thoughts you can type in a chat and share your thoughts if you have some have something to share meanwhile let's have shubham who is going to share his views on technology and its impact over to you shubham yeah hi everyone um so let's start the topic of the discussion that is technology and it impact uh, and it impact uh, towards my life so there are few points which i i'm going to share about the money data and education uh, the positive in- impacts um, for the uh, technology so uh, let's start with the money management so technology um, has revolutionized our how we manage our money uh, the days are gone where we would uh, pile up all our receipt to do our uh, taxes uh, to stay on top on the bills today um with a few clicks uh, we can have all our documents in one place and pay our bills and remit our taxes with uh, very ease furthermore like uh, we don't have to carry our cash with uh, uh, everywhere uh, we have mobile wallets credit card debit card um, etc thanks to upi uh, which are uh, nearly uh, makes the uh, use of cash um, on not you uh not usable um yes and also like investing and tracking our portfolio is also much easier because um uh, uh, a single app can do all of everything and that's uh, because of the innovation in the technology so this was um, a brief idea for the 
uh, what is a money management and that also on the safe way then comes that is a uh, fast and the easy uh, data revival before like if we talk about the introduction of the technology we used to search through books um uh, we need to go to libraries search in the newspapers to uh, get what the information that is needed but now through uh, the google and uh, many search engines we can find uh, even a single piece of information um, uh, very easily within few minutes and that also like we don't have to uh, worry about our data that is kept on uh, our pc because uh, there is there are some cloud providers which uh, mix everything possible uh, via the internet also uh, if in some case uh, if our pc is infected uh, then we don't have to worry about the backup if we have uh, having the cloud support that uh, would uh, automatically backup all our data on their server so even if it is getting infected by a virus or malware uh, we don't have to worry much about it and also if we don't have a backup and all and does the our uh, uh, device gets infected there are computer experts who can still help to retrieve the data as well so this was all about the data retrieval and moving towards the next point that is the ease of education um back in the day uh, if we talk about the education the only way we can uh, get uh, get the educa uh, great education was to attend a brick and a mortal uh, school or to get a homeschooling this means that um, if you wanted to attend a dream school in a different country you would have to reallocate but thanks to the technology with this uh, the online learning seminars webinars are conducted through which we can uh, uh, learn anything any skill um, by just sitting at our home having just a laptop and an internet connection there are few channels like khan academy etc which are a non profit uh, on the uh, uh, non which are uh, doing the education for in the no, non profit form and providing a free and a world class education merely for everyone so this is uh, literally possible because of the great internet and the great technology that we are getting experienced so it is said that the every coin has two sides these were the, like the um, majorly the positive aspects which i use on the daily basis uh, for the technology it also has some negative effects the pros or the cons we can say for the technology that are the psychological uh, physical effects on the eyes etc uh, so let's also talk about this because every um, gain has some pain um, there is some uh, word isolation uh, with the uh, when we talk about the social media as a technology um, so the social media uh, was designed to make uh, or to bring the people together but in many times we uh, consider that it is of uh, uh, totally opposite um the more uh, uh, like a study i uh, uh, con was conducted in the young adults uh, from the age we can consider 19 to 32 and they found the people who were using uh, social media highly on the day to day basis uh, were feeling isolated three times or uh, uh, more isolated as compared to the uh, person who did not use social media as often so this was a major effects uh, on, uh, effect on the psychology uh, uh, for the technology and uh, moving towards the physical health effects there are eye strains uh, because when we use the handle tablets smartphones computers which can uh, hold a person attention for long periods and this may lead to eye strain so what can eye strain do it can blur our vision dry our eyes and this can also lead to pains in like other areas such as the body neck head shoulders etc and um, there are other effects apart from uh, in the comp uh, in the computers or smartphones you can say that which increase uh, the eye strain that are the screen time the uh, screen glare the screen brightness uh, like if i view screen too far or too close um if i am sitting not in a good posture these all are the reasons which can bring uh, more and more uh, eye strain to our eyes so to deal with it there is a um, 2020 20, 20 rule which means that uh, like whenever we use a uh, uh, screen uh, 
uh, we can use for 20 uh, minutes uh, in a uh, single break then we should take a 20 second break to look at something at least that is 20 feet away so 20 minutes of screen time 20 minutes uh, 20 seconds of break and 20 uh, and we need to look something that is 20 feet away so this would uh, this is a good exercise that can be uh, implemented to reduce our eye strain then comes the poor posture so there are many technologies uh, which are promoting the down and the forward uh, user position, meaning the person is hunched forward and looking down at the screen. Um, this means uh, that we need to put unnecessary amount on the neck and the spine. So if a person finds, uh, uh, finds themselves sitting in the same position for hours of time, such as sitting in a desk while working, regularly standing or stretching may help to reduce the strains on the body. And there are also found that the sleep, uh, there are sleep problems uh, with the using of technology in the next, uh, for the next level. That is, uh, if we use technology too close to the bedtime, this may cause issues with our sleep. Um, what it would affect is uh, the, the blue light that is being emitted by the devices, uh, that is the cell phones, e-readers, computers, it simulates the brain and it releases certain chemicals which uh, uh, which makes the uh, sleep nearly to uh, avoid at the regular timings. And so to avoid this type of potential impact of blue light on the brain, uh, we can use electronics device that emit blue light in the hour or two hours before the bedtime. Or also uh, before the bed, if uh, someone has something, uh, a habit of consuming something, uh, content or uh, information in his mind, then the reading a book or um, uh, or listening to the podcast is at the great alternatives instead of uh, looking at the screen. So with this, I would like to conclude that the, we humans um, are always uh, looking for better ways to improve our lives. Therefore, what we expect is uh, like the more technological advancement would be there in the future to make our life easier. But at the same time, when we embrace the technology, we need to keep in mind that uh, it also has the downsides. However, um, if used correctly, the benefits of the technology is always greater than the negative effects of it. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Shubham, for sharing your thoughts. Yes, as you said correctly, uh, the purpose of uh, us using technology is to make our lives better. And we should always look for options to do it in a right manner taking frequent breaks, identifying your screen time, non-screen time, and what you want to do, what you don't want to do, will always be helpful. Uh, and I think you shared a lot of examples also through which we could understand like how we are misusing or uh, not probably misusing, but then how we are not able to manage it and how should we do it in a better way. So thank you for your time, your efforts, and everything that you have shared. I think Aditya wanted to share something about technology in a personal life. I would just invite him here and then probably we can conclude. Yes, Aditya. Uh, so, Nancy, have you watched that movie, Three Idiots? Yes, That is course. not a question. That is not should be in a question. But yeah, that thing is ki, uh, I will go in Hindi only. Usman, Amir Khan must line both that. Hum log technology se gire hai. Machines, actually, he used the words. Hum log machines se gire hai. The thing is, I would use the word technology better. Ki technology kon use karna, kon banata actually the person who wants to be more lazy, like me. So, hum logo ko pehle bulb, uh, light ban karne ke liye kya karna padta tha? We need to go and walk and uh, turn off the switch. Okay. But now, just mobile, smart home. Just see how things are going. So, the what I am saying is ki, yeah, it has both uh, uh, upsides and downsides in my real life also. But I give one example uh, to my friends and all of you. Ki, jase abhi mommy ghar ka kaam kar rahi hai. No doubt about it. Many females are also doing their work. But the thing is their uh, that work is regularly 4 to 5 hours, whatever time it is. What if some robot is doing that work? If it is saving 2 hours, the same work will be do, uh, done by robot and my mother can use that time to go for meditation, these things. Now the thing is, it is only your mindset only that you use free time in this way. But what I am saying to you is that technology can improve in other ways also. You just need to think about it. Yeah, downsides are but 
there are so uh, much benefits which uh, cannot be done that's all thank you thank you so much uh, shubham and aditya and also aarti uh, for sharing your thoughts on this particular topic so yes uh, yeah i have a re- reply comment from kasha saying that uh, it was a wonderful session oh great thank you so much thanks shubham and aditya for being here so yes that's all i think we had a great time discussing how technology has created impact in our lives be it positive not so positive or whatever manner what are the upcoming advancements that we can expect how it is going to impact our life in future and what we need to do to upskill ourselves to maintain that pace and be still sustainable because the way it is growing you never know what would happen the next day but then of course we are the creators of the technology and it can never overcome the basic elements of human connection so of course robots can cook the food for you but when this made by your mother nothing like it so technology is always a way to go but then it will never eliminate the human connection because that's something that we all need with this my final note to you all thank you so much for being on this live session today i'm so happy that you enjoyed and you understood and probably you liked it also at the same time we go live on this youtube channel every thursday with different activities check out this space every thursday around 7:30 and you will find something interesting here you can subscribe to our youtube channel because we release public speaking tips video every week and through that we would be able to keep connected with you all the best to all of you for your future interviews and with this i say you goodbye